Stephen's time. Good morning. Good morning. The April 3rd, 2018 meeting of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners will come to order, and we are pleased to have Mr. Benny Waldroff, our chief appraiser here this morning, with, uh, to lead us in an, with our invocation. After the invocation, please uh, remain standing for the flag. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we come to you with grateful hearts as we're so thankful for the many blessings you shower down upon our lives day by day. We just have celebrated the joys of Easter. We're in the time of spring and all the flowers and the new birth coming forth, the new season. We thank you for our community our schools, all of our blessings of life, the jobs, the nature, the joys of good food, good friends, good fellowship, our churches, our government, our parks and recreation, thankful for our firefighters, our first responders, sheriff, all the blessings of life. You've given us so much. We're so grateful. We also, dear Lord, ask for your comfort for those who are sick this day, those that are hurting. Bless them and be with them. And where we can help somebody, dear Lord, help us to do that with a kind word, with a visit, with our support and all the ways we can support. Now, dear Lord, as we come to you in this important commission meeting, we ask you to bless our commission, dear Lord, each board member, Guide them in their deliberations. We pray each word they say, each direction they lead us in will be in accordance with your holy will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. Thank you, Mr. Waldrop, uh, for being here with us this morning and leading us in our invocation. And good morning once again, and we are delighted that you joined us and we appreciate your participation in local government. Clerk, do we have any public comment? Yes, ma'am, we had one individual sign up. Okay, we have one individual, uh, Mr. Larry Pierce. Uh, could you please come forward and I'll read uh, my usual script. We respect the citizens' rights to address their government in this meeting. However, the chair, uh, myself, which in, I intend to enforce our three-minute rule in order for this meeting to run efficiently and effectively. <coughs> Once you reach your uh, three minutes, and I will ask you to wrap your sentence up, and I will take the floor. Please avoid campaigning or personal attacks against personnel or officials which should be handled in another body, such uh, other than this forum. All right, Mr. Pierce, if you could just give us your address, and uh, I believe your subject matter is number 11 today. Yes. <clears throat> Larry Pierce, mm -hmm. 4120 Van Sant Road, Douglasville, Georgia. Uh, <clears throat> actually, uh, I thought I was going to bring some good information, but uh, after I discussed it with Mr. Dukes from the Parks Department, uh, he answered uh, all the questions that I had, so therefore uh, that particular request is withdrawn. Uh, but I would like to say that what you just stated about the right to say things and not attack people, yesterday it was a serious attack on someone. And I think what goes for the goose goes for the gander. And therefore, when somebody has a right to say something, we have a right to say it. And therefore, I don't think it needs to be attacked because somebody says it as she did yesterday. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Pierce. We'll take your, uh, this matter under, uh, under advisement. And I appreciate you coming in today. Uh, next, we have the approval of the minutes. Commissioners, uh, we discussed yesterday you reviewing your minutes. You have the minutes before you. 
on. I know you had an opportunity to take a look at them. You have the minutes of the commission meeting of March 20th, 2018, the work session, and the executive session minutes of March 19, 2018. Are there any corrections, additions, or deletions that need to be made? No, ma'am. Being none, the minutes stand approved as presented. Uh, business items, we have tab uh, number four, appointment of Tanya Jackson and Craig Bonds to the Douglas County Hospital Authority, effective immediately. Uh, Board of Commissioners, um, do we have a motion to appoint Tanya John, uh, Jackson and Craig Bonds to the Douglas County Hospital Authority? So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? We have a motion and a second. At this time, please cast your votes. We've cast our votes. Thank you. Uh, everyone is in favor. Favor the motion. And uh, I'll oppose the same, and the motion carries. Next, we have tab number five, appointment of the following members of the Keep Douglas County Beautiful Committee to fill nine of the 15 positions effective immediately. Devin Obel, Devitrian Cartwell, Rita Fasina Thomas, Judith Patterson, Mark Pinckney, Senior and Sarah Ray, Santana Wright, Matthew Kroll, and Jim Gay. Board of Commissioners, I have uh, listed the names here. Do we have a motion to uh, appoint the following members to the Keep Douglas County Beautiful Committee? So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Just one, Madam Chair. Yes. I don't know, I may have slept this one, but I thought the motion, or it was going to read that that was nine of the 15 or something, I think it was, or something, am I correct? Yeah, yeah it's on there. It's on there, did I miss it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it says to fill nine of the 15 positions. My apologies. Effective. No I problem. You're back. Okay. We have a motion and a second. Please cast your votes. And the motion carries. We'll move on to next. We have our consent agenda, and <clears throat> all items, will, all these items are subject to final legal review. Tab number six: resolution authorizing filling a grant uh, application, filing a grant application with the Federal Transit Administration for furnishing and um, equipment for the addition to the Douglas County Multimodal Transportation Center. Tab number seven. Authorization for the Douglas Circuit Accountability Courts to apply for a renewal of the Criminal Justice Coordinating Council Accountability Court Grant up to the amount of $675,000 for the 2018-2019 grant year and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents. Tab number eight, authorization for the Douglas Circuit Accountability Courts to enter into and Memorandum of Understanding with HealthQuest Incorporation for the purpose of providing approved medical assisted treatment and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents. Tab number nine, authorization for the Douglas Circuit Accountability Courts to renew and Memorandum of Understanding with Ascension Counseling and Mental Health Services as the prim primary treatment provider for the accountability courts and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents. Tab number 10, authorization for the Douglas Circuit Accountability Courts to enter into a memorandum of understanding with eLab Solutions for the purpose of testing samples for mind-altering substances and genetics and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents. Tab number 11, authorization to use SPLOST equipment funds in the amount of $18,389 to purchase a zero-turn infill machine for use at Boundary Waters Park as recommended by the Parks and Recreation Oversight Committee. Tab number 12, authorization to approve use of SPLOS equipment funds in the amount of $12,910 to upgrade the Metasis uh, control system at Boundary Waters Aquatic Center as recommended by the Parks and Recreation Oversight Committee. Tab number 13, authorization to approve a car allowance change for the Chief Assistant District Attorney and authorize the Chairman to sign all related documents. 
tab number 14, authorization to approve a car allowance change for the uh, district attorney and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents. Tab number 15, authorization to amend the contract with, tr contract with network cabling, cabling infrastructure incorporation to include installation of a closed circuit television system, access control system, and intrusion system in the new Bleakley building that is compatible with the systems currently being installed in the courthouse for a total additional cost of $95,520.88. Tab number 16, authorization to award a contract to Atlanta Petroleum Equipment Company Incorporation for the construction of a new fueling system for fleet operations for a total cost of $335,820.50 and authorize the chairman to sign all related documents. And tab number 17, approve quarterly report for the disposal of surplus furniture and office equipment. That concludes our consent agenda. Do we have a motion to approve the consent agenda? So moved. Second. Any discussion on any items on the consent agenda? Madam Chair. Vice Chairman Robinson. Yeah, I just, I have one. Um, maybe they're both related. Um, can, is, if Michelle Green is here, somebody, or um, somebody from, um, finance that can come speak to the total cost um, associated with our what we're calling the new government annex. We asked for this information yesterday during the work session um, as a point of what was the total cost, and I just wanted to know if anybody's here to, that can speak to it. James Worthington. James, here, welcome. I am not with finance, but okay, that's fine. <laughs> I did talk to Jennifer and Michelle. Jennifer's out. Uh, Michelle had a different appointment and. Um, other finance personnel that was going to fill in is out sick, so they they passed this along to me. So <laughs> all I right, try to answer teamwork. That's fine. Best as possible. That's fine. Um, so, what specifically would you like to know? Total cost. I got it. Um, um, so, what they're it started off um, when we started this contract. It was a three point four million, three point four one four million dollar. Um, contract that did not include the architectural fees which were four and a half percent the um, furniture computers phones um, anything else that the county would provide that's typically not part of the actual building okay. um, so that fee comes up to around 3.8 million dollars and then we were working on around a million for the rest of the campus, all of the fleet, the all of their equipment, the lifts, uh, all the different mechanics stuff, air compressors, the electrical stuff, revamping that building and the side building. So altogether, it's around 4.8, um, and then we've kind of cut and moved some things down to around 4.5 million, and that does not include the two items that are on the agenda today. So all in, it's a little under five, four, high fours, 4.9 million. Okay, all right. I mean, I, I think that's, <clears throat> I, I thought we'd been a little bit more prepared, so I'm gonna relieve you from this right now because I need a, a direct answer uh, with all costs on this one. Um, so we're good for now. Um, okay. Thank you for the effort, and, um, but we, we wanted a total accounting of, of, of everything, um, line item, and so we just, again, it's not a pressure of the moment, Madam Chair, I'm fine, I yield, we'll get it later. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, James. We're fine. Sorry. Any other questions from the Board of Commissioners? Okay. With that being said, we'll move on. We have a motion and a second. And uh, at this point, please cast your votes or if you're in agreement with this consent agenda. All votes has been cast and the motion carries. Next, we will have our announcements being read by our, today, Lena, we have our, um, I have made a couple of changes, Lena. Today, we're gonna have a commissioner of District 1, Henry Mitchell, read the announcements. We threw a curveball. You were prepared to go. She, she was ready. She was ready. <laughs> she was ready, all right. She's good. I, She's I, I, good. I, I appreciate that. Thank you, Madam Chair. And I'm gonna just make some little slight adjustments, but I'm gonna go through the, the announcements, but if while I'm making the announcements, if I can get the, the Director of Community Affairs, Tiffany Stanley Stewart, if she'll start coming forth as I start with the announcements. First, my announcement would be 
uh, that I've got my up and coming coffee and conversation, which will be this Saturday, which is April 7th from 10 until 12 noon, you know, as always, I provide the coffee, you provide the conversation. It'll be happening over at Golden United Methodist Church where Pastor William is the pastor. And uh, that address is 6903 James D. Simpson Avenue in Douglasville. So uh, it's, it's normally uh, an interesting conversation. We normally will talk about from splash to you name it, but remember I provide the coffee and you provide the conversation. The other announcement out of District 1 and inviting any and everybody to all of these meetings. And that will be the 50th anniversary of the Fair Housing Act. I will be serving as the keynote speaker for this uh, Achieve the Dream event that will happen at the O'Neill Plaza in downtown Douglasville. And that will happen from 5 until 8 p.m. on April 11th, Wednesday. Uh, I'm the keynote speaker, and we've got a lot to discuss in reference to the Fair Housing Act. Uh, thanks to our local realtors, and also special uh, supported guests are the West Georgia Board of Realtors. So this is a, I think it's gonna be a grand event. We've got uh, local performers and community things and a lot of resources and information that I think uh, you might wanna be a part of. Again, <coughs> that's the Fair Housing Act 50th anniversary. Just by coincidence, it happened April, it will happen April 11th. Uh, that'll be that 50 year anniversary and we'll be doing it again from five until 8 p.m. in the O'Neill Plaza in downtown Douglasville. And I thought, Tiffany, that you might want to kind of share with everybody in reference to the event that you've got in reference thank to you. child abuse, the National Child Abuse Prevention Month. Yes, thank you, Commissioner sure. Mitchell. Mm -hmm. um, um, in an effort to increase public engagement and public information, um, the Douglas County Department of External Affairs has partnered with CASA and the Georgia Center for Child Advocacy uh -huh. and the Heart Matters Wellness Services, and we will host a free child abuse prevention seminar uh, for National Child Abuse Month, with this, which is this month of April. It will be on Thursday, this Thursday, April 5th, from 6 to 8 p.m. in Citizens Hall. This seminar is free and open to all adults. Um, so we ask that um, no children but all adults be present that would like to attend. If you would like more information, you can contact me at 770-920-7436. Thank you. Thank you again, Tiffany. And uh, Commissioner Robinson, I don't know if you have any updates on the, any public announcements that you have. I see you on the agenda for announcements. So are there any updates from you, Commissioner Vice Chair Robinson? No updates? I guess not. Okay. All right. With that being said, Madam Chair, I, 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 I don't mind reading your uh, agenda item for announcements in reference to the, being the keynote speaker for the Douglas, the uh, state of Douglas County uh, keynote. So if you want to kind of share any information that you want to share with us in reference to this particular uh, event happening April 12th at noon at the Douglas County Courthouse, 8700 uh, Hospital Drive. So Sure. You know what? I'm going to allow uh, uh, Lena to uh, take the privilege of talking about the state of the county that's coming up. She's working with me, with my scripts, and everything. We, get, we worked yesterday. So, Lena, you okay. could share that. Okay. She, she wore um, a little today. Okay. I wanted her to that's have fine. some yes. moment. Uh, the state of Douglas County featuring keynote speaker, Chairman Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones, will occur on April 12th at 12 in the Douglas County Courthouse atrium on the first floor. Um, of course, if you have more information, please contact Rick Martin at 770-920-7303. Okay. Um, the chairman has a wonderful speech prepared, and Got I it. hope everyone's able to come out. Okay, okay, all right, well, good enough. So that event, again, is April 12th, uh, 12 noon to 2 p.m. at the Douglas County Courthouse, 8700 Hospital Drive. Yeah. And that's all the announcements as of... Uh, that I have thus far, and I return the chair back. I re return the floor back to the chair. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Any other discussions from the board of commissioners before we? Uh, yes. Yes. Madam chair. Okay. Okay. Vice okay. Chairman Robinson. Yeah, I, 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 that threw me right there. I didn't know what was happening, but okay, I'm back online. <laughs> All right. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, respectfully, um, yet yeah, District Two has um, continues in its um, s um, series of. Uh, public appearances at HOAs I've been invited to. Um, we've got um, two upcoming ones on April 10th at 7 p.m. will be in Tributary, uh, which will be um, right there off of Riverside Parkway. Um, it's their standing HOA, and I typically just show up and field questions and bring updates on whatever's going on in the community. Um, hopefully by then the lights uh, will be on on Riverside and we'll be able to sort of celebrate that moment as well. The second thing is um, there's a second one on Thursday, April 12th, 
It, it will be at the Villas Apartments at West Ridge, right there on Lee Road. Uh, again, it's not just about homeowners, it's people who live in apartments, people who have condominiums and townhomes, uh, people who are just in neighborhoods. I try to make myself available, and so I was invited to come out and talk to them about what's going on on Lee Road and some of the things in their immediate area. So I will be attending that as well on, uh, um, excuse me, April 12th at 630. Um, those are only up to, those are the two upcoming ones um, next week, and I yield the floor, Madam Chair. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, Commissioner Mulcair. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Announced. On behalf of the Douglas County Commission, I would like to announce that we're having our third annual spay and neuter fundraiser April 21st, which is a Saturday, April 21st from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. at the Deer Lick Gym. Uh, the hosts are the Douglas County Animal Services and the Douglas County Humane Society. Uh, this has been, uh, this is going into our third year uh, with two years of success behind us, uh, a good bit of money raised to spay and uh, neuter all animals that are adopted out of the Douglas County Humane Society and the Douglas County uh, Animal Services Building, which we used to call the shelter. Uh, to, at the end of this year, it looks like we will have uh, spayed and neutered uh, about 550 animals. Now just imagine those animals coming out in the, into the community and, and reproducing unwanted and uncared for animals. And thus the backloading back into the shelter being turned in, ab abandoned, hit in the road and so forth. So this is a great event. It's a party, I will say. It will be catered by Carrabba's Italian Grill and we'll have the great Mike Bookshire's band in attendance uh, performing for us. Uh, April 21st, 6 to 10, Deer Lake Gym. Hope to see you there. Thank you, Madam Chair. All right. Any other announcements? With that being said, uh, we have a planning and zoning meeting this evening. So, uh, commissioners, do we have a motion to go into recess? So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. We're, we're, Madam Chair, we're going into second session for what? No. No, no recess. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I heard exactly the session. I just want to make sure. <laughs> yes, re recess. Um, so we have a motion and a second. Uh, please cast your vote, votes. Can we cast? Okay. No, no. okay, we have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed the same, and the motion carries. Right. We'll, we'll see you all to, again at 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. Right.